Hi friends, um, this is Kumar Exclusive. I am recording this video from Metamoros, Mexico, May 13, 2018. I came to US, uh, sorry, I came to Mexico for H1B visa stamping. I am not sure um, whether I get visa or not, but uh, I am little positive. Um, sorry, today is Sunday, 11 a.m. CST Central Time. And yeah, um, right now I am working in uh, Maryland for a government client. So um, there is a prime vendor, and then there are two uh, middle vendors. Uh, according to USCIS, they might be illegal, and then there is a new employer. Uh, that is a uh, long story in short. Um, in HNB folks terminology, especially Indian folks, they say um, EVC, client EVC model, right? Employment, employer, vendor, client, letter, whatever. That's what. And um, from Maryland to New York, I drove because my family lives in New York. And from there, uh, I took a flight. It's a very hectic journey uh, because of the missing the uh, delay in the connecting flight. So almost I was running between two terminals in Houston, Texas. And then uh, I came to um, Brownsville. Then I had uh, I came to Greyhound's bus stop. I had a subway foot long. I ate like a pig. It's uh, because of old day. I had something on the flight I purchased, but that's not uh, sufficient. Then Salvantar, um, he came from Mexico to uh, US. He picked me up from that spot at 5 o'clock, exactly 5. Um, what I read, uh, somebody wrote he's a Chinese man like that on Murti.com, but uh, he is a Mexican. He born in Mexico, he raised in Mexico, but his father took him to US and raised the kids there. And then he studied MBA there. Then he come back to Mexico to serve his country to start a business hotel, uh, Best Western Hotel. He's doing priceless service and he also showed some emails uh, from Telugu folks who cheated him like for example a couple is planning to come here and then they have to pay VFS fees like visa fees in India right. Somebody has to pay cash there to open the visa appointment date same thing he does from Mexico uh, but they don't come they don't pay like that so he's at the losing end uh, that's what is uh, he's following uh, H1B scams news also like uh, Indian employers, um, they supposed to pay $8,000, but they paid 800 So that news also he discussed while coming driving. Then when I was taking videos or pictures, he said they, um, that area is not supposed to because we are crossing the border, right? There's a small bridge. I feel like uh, we are in India and in Nepal, there is a small bridge people cross. And Canada also, an event is nothing. It's a uh, small part you have to cross custom check and then they did a custom event inside took me inside I mean sorry he paid a toll from his pocket and then uh, custom check or uh, border check whatever then we both went inside and then they look at the passport old passport and new passport and then they put a stamp after filling the form he guided me how to fill the form and then we came out then I realized I didn't pay the $30 fees then we go inside again paid the fees it's like um, VIP treatment or uh, otherwise you call if the crowd I saw it takes five hours for waiting and uh, interview and then you have to walk again right to the Mexico that hotel um, it's very tough uh, hats off to Salvantar I dedicate this video for uh, all the H1B folks who are looking for H1B visa stamping and uh, to this hotel and Salvantar I dedicate this video to the gentleman knowledge and be folks uh, that is what all about um, yesterday experience then we came here and then uh, we, we was in the reception lobby talked to him for a couple of minutes he then i showed him my wide article <laughs> i told i got a lot of threats and all then he asked me there tomorrow there are several telugu people are coming here uh, what do they feel about you then I said, if they are my follower, they will give a shake hand and then they will say, oh, Kumar exclusive here. Uh, if they are my address, they may probably kill me also. So that's what I told. And uh, I saw one YouTuber, I think, in the play in Brownsville, is taking non-stop videos and the host on right also, I think, they're taking videos. I didn't bring my camera uh, for various reasons because I stopped making videos once. 
second i'm also fighting with employers and all uh, vendors um, i was not getting paid salaries though 466 hours approved uh, i paid only 1800 bucks out of um, more than <laughs> okay uh, you understand right how controversial my videos are so i requested the vendors uh, not begging i wrote in business emails very strictly if i have green card i would rip indian many indian vendors indian members who are doing crime in us i'm outside us now um that's what and uh, i read the comments on youtube channel it's very interesting funny uh, one guy is running behind me asking why are you deleted i said that in the lead video i hold on so i am also a human being i'm also an h1b like you or anybody Placing videos and especially to speaking truth, which will become highly controversial between government, uh, outsourcing companies, and uh, they see Indian body shops, women trafficking agencies, you can say illegal women trafficking agencies, these body shops, they bring bodies, go, don't pay, you no know, LCS, they break LCS, they recover, no medical, nothing, so I don't have medical, uh, it's very tough. Uh, so if I get a visa, probably I will go back to ESA and my family, H4 dependents are living in ES. Um, if I don't get visa, I have to leave for India from here and they have to leave for uh, India from there. They don't have money, I don't have money because employers and they are blaming each other and they are not paying money. So I am speaking facts, so I don't know how controversial if I upload and also my client and other managers also following videos some Indian companies requested me to delete my H1B Facebook page and I deleted and also uh, this associated with my uh, people friends who are help me and the uh, page and other stuff because they are also involving H1B visa fraud I can pay referral fees but uh, they are asking $10,000 for H1B and $5,000 to exit as a layer so all this um, uh, against my ethics, values and morals. So when we are doing this, one guy from Kuwait, Rajesh, he wrote an email, when you guys are collecting money, how can you say like this? He used that word, I told him, I showed him some email proof, it is not I, it is someone else joined with me as collected. So at least 12 followers, they paid money, they lost it. And uh, that's what uh, I'm speaking truth. Truth has no friends. Uh, that's it, man. It's all about life. And uh, yeah. And uh, this is all about I want to communicate. Thank you for uh, watching the eight, 8 minutes video. Uh, if Telugu, I will record. Uh, probably it's very funny uh, because of my mother tongue. I can speak, it goes to heart, right? In English, is, it goes to only mind. Thank you. Good luck for all the H1B folks. See, life uh, in India, people think uh, life is all about dollars. India, uh, sorry, uh, welcome, means rich. These are uh, Canadian dollars, I think. Uh, sorry, Mexican dollars, so I'm sorry. And uh, life means they think that uh, dollars, dollars, dollars. I can mint dollars. So, I'm still poor man, but still carrying hundred bucks. Okay, they think that life is uh, the other side of the globe is super rich and all. But the problem is Indians cheat here. They cheat. I also kept a video if I were president of US, um, I would kick all Indians out, irrespective of their immigration status, because they are ditching America, they are ditching India, they are ditching Indians. I'm against generalization, but majority are doing this. I mix so many topics in this video, but I will edit later. Uh, nobody is speaking outside. At least 3 million Indians uh, on H1B from these stupid Desi consultancies are suffering just like me. Nobody is speaking truth. Because I am speaking truth, 20,000 MS students who are joined jobs or post American jobs through fake and felony or uh, targeting me, my family and uh, parents online. It's very bad. That is Indian culture is. And uh, yeah, andrafriends.com. You post an ad, five minutes, somebody will take your call, you will get a job. 
So that's all about America. If you're honest, you will place videos, you will write books, you will speak like me, you will end up life like me. So life is money, then earn money. I don't know why these guys do fake and fake, they can loot any ATMs, right? Vacuum. Nobody knows, nobody speaks truth. That's why they're not knowing what's happening in America. This is what's happening on the ground. I don't say all, but majority, 9 out of 10, FNBs do fake felony and all, proxy. And every client location, at least some of them, they know me already. So, because of my videos, one girl, she told, because of your video, I got a job without faking resume. Hats off to her. Her husband gave a divorce to her, throw her on the street after getting green card. That's also common here. So, so many things I would like to share, but I stopped making videos because finally it is hurting my job. When my stomach is not full, how can I feed the stomach of other people? Um, that's what, and uh, life is, uh, yeah, that's what life is all about. Uh, good luck, try, don't ask me can I come to America or not, even I don't have a visa. If you have a visa, nobody will stop you, man. I told you, read the my mission statement. Everybody must visit America to see what is life and then go back and bring the change. Thank you. God bless you. Good luck. Um, email me any questions. Kumar exclusive at yahoo.com. Thank you.